What's up? And welcome to my channel. This is now episode 6 of Medieval Dynasty. How y'all doing? What's up? Yo. So, in this, uh, yeah, in this quest, in this video, we're going to do this quest really fast. So let's go into town and buy this stuff. And this is also the quest that teaches you how to farm. So we need 15 each. Fertilizer, carrot, wheat, and cabbage. How can I help you? Will I remember that? Nope. <laughs> All right, fertilizer. Did it say cabbage seeds, or was it carrots? Um. Pfft. Well, I know we needed fertilizer. Fifteen. All right, fifteen fertilizer for one hundred and twelve coin. And for the life of me, I don't remember what it was. Hmm. <laughs> Carrot. Carrot, wheat, cabbage. Carrot, wheat, cabbage. Carrot, wheat, cabbage. Best goods in the valley. Carrot? Wheat and cabbage. Cabbage is a decent crop to do. And let's see. Wheat, 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 wheat. Now you can't... There's no way of just typing in what you want for like a, to search it. But they are in alphabetical order, so that's at least good. Alright, so we wasted all of our money on that stuff. Yuck. Goodbye. Now we need to have at least 15... Sorry guys, I can't read that. Um, press the right button, Prime! A field of 15, gotcha. Alright, let's head home and make a small field. Okay, so it said 15 by 15. But first, um, we still got that shovel on us. Let's get rid of these two logs, because they're going to get in our way. Alright, field, field. Now, a field of 15. Well, 5 times 3 is 15. Oh, there you go. Let's see, um, do we have any wooden holes on us? I don't think we do. Actually, we do. The one we made for the quest. Oh, and the best part of this quest, you don't actually have to plant every single thing we just bought. That is the beauty of it. Alright. Whoop. So for your bag, grab the bag, right click it, field, and we want fertilizer. Cha ching And now the uh, wooden hole again. And boom! So the field. Which of course is grabbing your simple bag, right clicking, and just, you're going to have to plant one thing. Bah, just plant this one. Plant the wheat. Ha ha. And that's all we had to do. Now, because it is autumn day three and tomorrow game day is winter, we don't need this field. So, bye bye. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What's what quest is this next? Um, 
See, we can already make 20 buildings. And the next step is to make a barn, a woodshed, a well, and a workshop. Okay, let's definitely pause on that until we actually move to our new location. So, goodbye field. Um, hold on. Alright, I love getting rid of extra stuff we don't need. Oh, we still got meat from those boars. Now, after everything that we bought, we only wasted one fertilizer and one grain seed. So for now, just deposit this stuff and we'll deal with that another day. A tail, let's uh, do a meat check. Meat, meat, meat. Oh, I have 56 meats. Yikes. Alrighty then. I guess that answers that. We're going to go cook some meat. But that's okay, because it will also increase our experience in the field. 80 meat. Oh, yeah. Now, notice that my character is hungry. Since this um, season is almost over, once Winter 1 is here, those stats will just automatically reset. It is a perk of the game. So, I ain't got to eat anything today. Ha 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 ha. Pause it this real quick. Food. How are my stats looking? 1,000 food? Very nice. I love it. Water, 3,000. Better. Wood is at 1,500. I like it. I like it. I like it. Alright, so. Oh boy, we got some skills. Um, I'm going to do Woodcutter's Trance. Because that one's pretty good. Oh yeah, I got a hunting skill. Well, might just go with the experience for this one. Yeah, experience all the way. Can I do barter? Yay, I can do barter. Two points. That means we can uh, sell and buy stuff at uh, better prices. Woohoo! And let's see here. Cooking knowledge, maybe. Mm, I've got an iron hammer, so I don't really need that right now. Faster crafting. Faster bit. Ooh, this one. Building trance. Yes. Increase that one. Okay. It's a little, little early. 1900 hours. But I'm going to go ahead and uh, go to bed. But since tomorrow is a winter one, grab your fur armor. Grab your fur armor. Well, it's clothing, not armor. I think they are going to add armor to the game, but not anytime soon. All right. Good night. Good night. Ooh, what's this? Tra oh, yes, the traveling merchant. So every few months, stuff like this happens. Let me read this one. A traveling merchant is visiting your settlement. He presents you his wares, tells stories. Boop. <clears throat> Sorry, messed up that line up. Um, he tells you stories. Also, he says that he can teach you a few tricks to get better deals for a price, of course. Basically, he will increase your own barter skill. That sums it up. Um, I already spent my coins, so I can't pay him. <laughs> And, uh, my, my bar, my diplomacy skill is pretty low. Man, if I had 200 coins on me, I could have, uh, could have done that. All right, well, unfortunately, I can't do anything. But the only good thing is nothing happens with this choice. You don't need a lesson right now. Close. Darn. Which means 200 coins would have increased some stats. Oh my god, it's winter. Oh my god, put your winter clothing on. Huh. For boots, for hood. Yeah, check that guy out. Still needs better, a better shirt and better pants, but you know, that's good. Don't know if you can see the mouse cursor. 
but the bottom right is just barely into the green. Ideally we would want more, but it's good enough for now. As long as there's no storms, we good. Alright, let me go up here and flirt to my future wife. If she's not there, then I'm going to have to rethink some stuff. Okay, and she is here. Hello there. So she's at 52%. Let's see what we can do. How you doing, beautiful? Now this option right here where it says I want you as a wife, you need affection 100%. So don't waste your time um, with that option. Um, I'm pretty sure this specific lady likes to be cl complimented on her smartness. Yes, plus seven affection. Um, let's see here. Now, every NPC has different personalities. This one likes jokes. So let's go with this one about the swords and the bare hands. Huh. Plus seven, love it. Um, I guess I can give this one a try. Plus five, I'll take it. And that's all. Alright, so she's at 71%. Maybe two more game days and I'll be able to marry her? Woohoo! See you soon. And, because I don't want to go through that again. Save, save, save. Alright, so what are we going to do? Alright, so our food, water, and wood are definitely fine. We only have these two villagers. And I tell you what. Let's um, follow the road south and then head on over to our main spot and start mapping that place out. Dun dun dun, we have arrived. Ah, just look how beautiful that flat open land is. Alright, first things first. There's a flat spot right over here. Bridge there. Oh yeah, remember our... At the start of the series, I told you that winter is the best time to check out rocks. There you go. First things first. We are going to build ourselves a simple house. So that way, we don't have to go all the way back to our starter town. We can just stay here. Alright, what do we need? Ten stones. Well, <laughs> they're pretty much right here, right here. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, yeah, a couple logs, eight. Oh, yes, and these trees, birch trees, you'll get two logs plus sticks. See, seven sticks plus two logs. So this area, you get more sticks than logs, but that actually works out because we're going to need a lot of sticks. How many logs do we need? Eight. Oh, here's a maple tree. Oh, and don't forget inspector mode. Beep, beep, beep. Whoop. Now, if you need uh, some straw, it's just right up here a little bit more. Okay, log sticks and the straw. Let me finish this house. I'll be back. Okay, so my house is there, and the straw is right here, pretty close by. That is done, right? Huh. Oh, nope. Forgot about the attic. Derp. Okay, now it's done. Now, just to be clear, 
Now, my personal settings, yes, yeah, settings, this is, yet yeah, again, one more temporary house. I'm not going to keep it here long term because my main house is going to be over there. It's just going to be here until I get to that spot. And into management, um, technically, I'm not moving myself in here yet. I am going to sleep here, but I'm not moving in, if that makes sense. Ooh, I got a skill. Ooh, two, two of these skills. Okay. Well, since I'm on hard mode, I suppose 10% less damage received is good. Um, do I want another one? Lower the stamina might be the better idea. And there's one up here that gives you more health. Um, yeah, since I'm on hard mode, I'm going to go with uh, less damage received. Alright, so on to this location. Now the easiest thing I can show you where this right here. I don't know if the camera is picking it up, but there's basically a dip in the uh, ground. We're going to use that part as a reference. All right, we'll whip out your field. Uh, we'll say that. Now, if you're like me and want to build with a grid view, this right here is about the closest thing you're going to get to one. Um, Tara, let me get that over just a little bit more. Maybe start here. Yeah. There we go. Oh, look, there's a wild deer right out there. Nice. Er. Now the idea of doing this, grab your hammer, just simply click on destroy. You don't have to click on anything else, but there you go. You have a grid line to um, line up your buildings with. Pretty sweet, right? Now 100% we absolutely need to start with resource storage one technically you could start the second one since we already unlocked it but trust me just stick with the first one so let's see here we can line it up perfectly with the grid um all right, but I'm going to line up a lot of stuff off camera because I am super picky about this. It's got to be like perfectly lined up. All right, I'm do that. I'll be back. Okay, that took a few minutes. We are in uh, day two of winter. It is almost noon. And let me show you what I've got so far. I've lined this up about the best it's going to be. All right, let's go back to this, um, this hole we first... Uh, used as a reference I am using just straight up fields now that specific one is a 2x2 two two. so if you're if you're copying exactly what I'm doing just put a 2x2 two two square over this hole and then from here go all the way over as far as you can go which just happens to be here this is a game road so, which means we can't uh, move it or destroy it or anything. This right here is our resource storage. Food storage. And hunting lodge. Now in case you're wondering, I'm starting with the same buildings that I have in our beginner town. Right here. Everything here, I am rebuilding over here so that way once these um, first five buildings are done we can get rid of our starter town and be completely moved in here let's see here okay so we said resource food and hunting lodge 
And my first house, which is where I am going to move into. Oh, and by the way, these are simple houses. Now our temporary ones is a simple small house. These ones are simple house, the second choice. And this one, the house, this one's pretty expensive to make. Unless they changed it, I won't know till we get there. But that one's too expensive. Like, uh, this is going to be our main house much later down the road. But for now, make all of your houses out of simple. Simple house. And I use these fields to do the best I can with this grid view. Now, that's not 100% straight and even. Yeah. It's about the best as it's going to be. I mean, I kind of curved this way just a tiny bit. And it looks like that one curved that way too. Hmm. Unfortunately, without an actual grid uh, building thing in the game, that's all you can do. But at least you can do these fields to line stuff up. Yeah, it's definitely curved. I'll say that. Yeah. I mean, if anything, this one just simply needs to be turned like a centimeter. This one needs to be turned about three centimeters. Now, if you're super picky like me, I, I don't know, I might change that before we build it. <laughs> Excuse me. But it is, oh my god, it is one in the afternoon of day two of winter. Two things. First off, I need to go way over here to this town and flirt with my future wife. I doubt I'll be able to marry her today. It might be tomorrow or even into year two. I don't know. Now our two villagers, they're doing perfectly fine. We don't need to even look at them. Although that food is going to go down at some point. Speaking of food, my character's hungry. <laughs> Alright, so I am going to go all the way back to town. Or er, my starter town. Check out the food situation. Come up here to this spot to flirt with that person. Assuming I have time to make it back here. That's what I'll do. And I'll see you guys in between these spots. Made it back to my starter town. And I see I've only got 20 stone knives. So I'm going to make what I can. Stone knife. 30. Alright. So that'll give them 50 stone knives. Perfect. I won't have to worry about that for a little bit. Boom. Hit. <laughs> New level of crafting. Gonna cook me some meat. Eighty-three meat. Oh yeah. Then I'll go flirt with that girl. Now what time is it? Um fifteen hundred. You know what? Considering even if I make it back to my uh, main base, I'm going to have to come all the way back to uh, this town jets to flirt with her. So it's probably in my best interest just to stay right at um, the starter town. Um, yeah. But first, me hungry. Alright, I'll go flirt with her and be back. Okay, after a couple of tries, Hello. I got her up to 96%, but I can't talk to her anymore. Ugh. So, that just means that tomorrow game day, uh, day three of winter, I will get married. Now, how many game days was this? Um, I want to say six game days total 
to uh, get this affection up to 100%. And that's with no skills into the uh, Romeo tree. Ooh, I have two points here. I think I'll just go with uh, one building master and one trance. So, it is 173000 hours. Yeah. I mean, I will definitely get married tomorrow. It's in my best interest to go to the starter town. Wait till tomorrow. Get married. And then come on back to my main spot. Uh, let me think about it. Yeah, I'll go ahead and do that. Because I already made it back to my starter town. It's uh, almost 1,900 hours on day two. I wish you could change that to just, you know, the 12-hour format. And this is Celsius. I want it in Fahrenheit. Tahar. Um, let's see here. Uh, a little early to do that. I'm not going to mess with these quests. I will have to do this one pretty soon. See, management. Our food is good. Water. Wood is good. Oh, one thing I will definitely say. <clears throat> now, in our main town. See, I've only made those five building the blueprints of them. Now, I will definitely get those buildings built uh, tomorrow in-game. But I'm not going any further than that until day one of spring, year two. Because there are taxes to consider. Every building, uh, field, or road, or all of that stuff will cost you taxes. And even if you just have the ghost image down, or if you're like me, using the fields as a grid view you will still get charged taxes. So at the moment, my taxes are only 127 coin. But two game days later, that could easily increase, which is something to consider. When I have 67 coins, he, he, he. But I can easily sell some stuff if I have to. But I will cross that bridge when we get there. For now, since it's pretty late, I'm going to sleep to the next... Oh, wait. I gotta wait four seconds till I can sleep to the next day. <laughs> and there it goes. Ta-da! Oh, well alrighty guys. Like my crossbow? <laughs> yeah. Thank you for watching. I am going to call the video right here. Uh, if you liked the video, you know... You know you want to press that like button. Don't make me say it every time. Hee <laughs> hee. And if you're new here, hey, subscribe for more Medieval Dynasty videos. And stay tuned for weekly Minecraft videos. If you haven't checked those out, check them out. Alright, thanks again, and we'll see you in the next video.